Hey, it's Rick Khan, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to hack Facebook ads targeting with these new algorithm exploits. Now, targeting on Facebook has changed so much post iOS, and things such as your Facebook insight tools have changed dramatically, where you used to find audiences and then add them into detailed targeting. But today, most audiences that used to show up have all disappeared or has gone smaller since the whole Apple iOS thing with Facebook. So if you target the old ways or you don't understand how targeting works today and beyond, you'll experience an audience message mismatch that can lead to underperforming ads that won't give you the level of leads and sales that you want, which will lead to expensive CPMs, CPCs, and very expensive acquisitions that drain your pockets and that's why it's now important to learn and understand how the Facebook algorithms work which is exactly what I'm going to show you in this video. You'll learn how to exploit it so that it gives you the best targeting options when you put an audience into custom or detailed targeting. So specifically I'll show you the top targeting hacks to find one of the most targeted audiences to match your message and do it at the lowest cost which starts with using certain keywords in your ad copy. Because in the way Facebook machine learning works today is that now it focuses more on your copy and creative that it uses the keywords from your copy to match it with the audience that resonates with your message. So basically you use broad targeted keywords as inputs for Facebook to pick up. And when you do this, Facebook's algorithm can get to work to find the best audience for your ad. So with that said, what's the best way to do this? Well, it's through understanding and researching your audience and knowing their problems, pain points, and needs on a deeper emotional level. Because the goal of your ad is to articulate the message and transformational state of the before and after picture. Basically, where your customer is at and where do they wanna be and how can you articulate that with your text and creative? Then all you need to do is add broad targeted keywords within your ad copy. Now, something to mention here. At the beginning of the copy, I advise you use broad terms that shout out your audience. This is also known as dog whistle copy that was termed by Dan Kennedy. And what this will do is two things. One, it grabs and filters your prospect's attention. And two, it puts an input into the Facebook AI that lets the algorithm pick up exactly who they need to start looking for. So an example of doing this is how to swing your golf club for better aim. Yoga mats for yoga lovers. Dog grooming made easy. Guided meditation for relaxation. These examples are the kinds of broad words you want to use within your copy, which leads to using scroll stopping creative. Now, creative, it's a key part to Facebook advertising as it's an element you'll always be changing and keeping fresh for audiences as you continue to show your ads. But did you know, when you have a good creative strategy that matches the attention of your audience, you can help Facebook to discover your best audience. Because an important element for Facebook to learn more about your audience, it's AI monitors the action of the scroll. So if you can come up with a creative strategy that hooks in your perfect audience and that every time your perfect audience slows or stops the scrolls, this is so powerful for the machine learning. This is why you don't want to chuck out creative for the sake of getting people's attention, such as some crazy dancing cat video. So instead, you want to brainstorm and come up with ways to visually represent your hooks in a way that gets your perfect avatar to slow and stop the scroll which moves to the next hack is to use broad targeting in the detail targeting section. Now, as mentioned before, Facebook has deleted so many of the interests in their detail targeting. And if you search most terms in the detail targeting for interests that were there in the past have now gone, even though it doesn't seem logical why certain interests have been removed. However, this is what we need to expect as online advertisers. Platforms like Facebook and others are always gonna keep changing and keeping up with these changes is what will get you the success with these platforms. But saying that, with most specific interests gone, I would advise you to start using broad targeting. Now, 
Broad targeting is just basically using broad terms such as hockey, digital marketing, tennis, gardening, cars, and so on. And you would then use this at the top of your funnel running to cold audiences. And here's the thing, as mentioned earlier with your broad copy keywords, Facebook machine learning will then take that broad audience term with the copy combined to start looking for people with that interest. So if you write, for example, growing tomatoes in your garden can be made easy with the term gardening. Facebook will take these keywords and go look for an audience who are gardeners or garden lovers. And the good thing is, Facebook has so many data points about its users, they know exactly who to put your ad in front of and they'll do it at the right time. Which leads me to, you should always have at least one ad set with open targeting. Now, basically, this is where you're now gonna put all your faith into Facebook and let them target all of their platform. So here you would remove any targeting with zero interests, zero lookalikes, or anything placed at these levels essentially giving Facebook full control to target the best audience for your ads. And here's a good tip when using the open targeting. When I run a test, I like to use the open targeting as the control audience in all of my ad sets. Use it as a means to compare all other ad set audiences with this. Now, just to mention, when I say give Facebook full control, that's not entirely true because you do have some control, such as the age, gender, and location, but generally, you want to leave everything else completely open and unrestrict Facebook to let it use its AI to the best of its ability to find your best audience. Now, the thing is, you might be thinking, logically, it seems like it would help Facebook to tell them who to target. But the truth is, as time's gone on, Facebook's algorithm has gone way smarter than it's ever been. Especially when post iOS happened, they're obviously going to do what it takes to stay ahead of advertising game as this is its main source of income. So let it do its job. Now, another thing to mention about open targeting is that scalability is huge compared to interest scale because Facebook will always be able to look for more people who are like your buyers. And as you continue to keep your creative fresh and not let this fatigue, they can continue to scale. So make sure to at least try the open targeting and test if it works well for you. And one last thing I do want to mention about open targeting, and that is to also give it more time than usual compared to other ad sets. Because Facebook is searching the entire platform and it may take a little longer than usual to get decent conversions from it. But then with all this said, does this all mean targeting individual specific interests is dead? Well, the short answer is no, it does still work very well indeed if you do it correctly. Because as mentioned before, a lot of advertisers who have noticed so many interests have disappeared, it seems as though you should focus away from these specific interests. But the truth is, is that they are still scalable for cold audiences. And if you don't have any data on your audience, specific interest is where you want to begin, as it still works as long as you target them correctly. So how do you target with specific interests? Well, since Facebook machine learning works more efficiently with the more room you give its AI, targeting single interests with 50,000, 500,000, or even a couple of million won't cut it. Facebook, in order to be most productive, is to unrestrict its audience size to larger groups. That's why this is how I recommend to use them. Find each interest from the detail targeted, then click suggestions for more interests as you're guaranteed to be able to use these interests that you find here. Then you wanna separate each of these interests and test each of them to know which one gets conversions past one or two sales or up to your break even point. Then here's what you want to do next. Consolidate the audience and stack the winners. Because if you stack these interests up, you're increasing the number of people for Facebook to work with your ad that will have less fatigue and the less amount of time to change up your creatives. Stacking these interests open you up for more scale. But perhaps best of all, since you already tested each of these interests, you now already know that each one is a winner. So you're increasing the chances of giving Facebook the best chance to work its AI for your audience. Now, one audience I haven't mentioned in this video, which is finding your top audience 
that puts your ads in front of the highest converting prospects, where I show you how to find your competitor's interest right here. And if you like this video, it really helps to let me know by leaving a thumbs up and I'm gonna keep you updated about how Facebook machine learning works. So consider subscribing and stay up to date. And until then, I appreciate you and thanks for your time.